Welcome back to Adam's DIY Universe. And you may have seen from previous videos that we are looking at putting in a spa pool or hot tub. And in the process of doing that, we've made these lovely steps here. We've also, I've been checking out the stability of the concrete underneath where the spa pool or hot tub's going to go and I've decided that it wasn't with there was some cracking there and I decided that it wasn't really ready for being able to put up with the weight of the spa pool in the long term also there's a slight drop down there on the fence line so I just want to make sure that that's retained properly and that the spa pool is ready to be there for a long period of time and I'm not going to have to dig anything up or deal with it later once it's in place. Also, what I'm going to do is try to match the same surface so what I'm going to do is remove the rest of this concrete, even things out, and then we'll talk about the next steps. Okay, so it's a new day, new dawn here in the Sparple project. Um, I have cleared away this area now, and we're ready for the retaining area to be built on the right hand side so I'll be evening that out and building this little retaining wall one little bonus of the whole thing is I slowly tapped away at this area here and found a working drain I've managed to clear all the dirt out of it and if you listen very carefully here you can hear it working away there so it goes across this area which means I need to be especially careful to um, put some good reinforcing mesh and make sure that the concrete is at least six inches thick so that we keep that drain working it doesn't get damaged by any weight on top of it The spider here reminded me of um, that Incy Wincy spider nursery rhyme. But he's not so Incy Wincy though, he's quite big. I'm not sure where he came from, but he, he certainly ran from up in that direction. Yeah, but he's a big one. Welcome back to the work site. Things are moving along. What you might be able to see now is a row of bricks here on the right hand side. They are going to make up part of my retaining area. When you're laying a concrete pad, you need to have a level boxed in area. So what I've done and this is the last one remaining, is pegged and run a string across to the other side of the, the fence. So from left to right there, <clears throat> and that area is level. Then what I've done is attached a four by two to the fence all the way along and boxed in that that drainage area and then I have created a plywood barrier all the way along and that plywood barrier shows me where the edge of my retaining wall is going to be and I can remove that later then from there I have uh, dug along the retaining wall area so it's nice and 
um, even and it can have bricks layered in all the way along and I'm going to cement those in shortly. So basically from the left hand edge where, where the current, there's a current pad and to the top of the plywood frame is level all the way across and that will at the end of the day be filled with concrete right to the top of that and then I will remove the plywood edging and so we'll just have a nice clean concrete pad so now I'm going to take out the final peg that I have and I will start concreting in these bricks all the way down I've screwed a 4x2 board in all the way across which is level and the plywood acts as a barrier all the way along and I've actually managed to find a drain cover that's exactly that size that square size so that is why I have uh, framed that area up to fit that drain cover and all of this is going to be filled in with bricks and cement shortly what I'm going to do now is start to pull out these bricks mix some cement up in here quick mix cement just w add water and start filling this area in with layering it up firstly cement then brick then cement and so on all the way along we're just about ready to get started here I've got my dry cement mix there I've pulled all the bricks out and place them in the exact same order that they need to go in so basically at this point it's just add water time and start layering the bricks up so that's the first four bags of cement used there so at eight dollars a pop but things will uh add up and that is why instead of filling the whole thing with concrete I have um, continued on my theme of, of saving a little bit of money and I have been layering in these bricks all the way along and these are bricks that I've just picked up along the way some of them from ex excavating this area actually um, and then others just from house renovations and things like that so that's um, a way of, of building up this area without having to spend an absolute fortune um, so so far those uh, four eights let's do the maths are 32 okay and we'll keep going layering those up i'll go back to the shop get some more bags and keep you updated hello cookie it's the end of the day here at the concrete pad project and i've used a further eight bags of ready mix concrete on this retaining wall area here so that's mixed in with cinder block, the cinder blocks, the three cinder blocks I had, and bricks all the way along. And I used a further eight bags of ready mix concrete. So altogether that's 12 now. So uh, at $8 a bag, that's um, $96. So we're just under $100 here for the... Um, concrete pad project and 
I think we probably saved the same amount of bags again using the bricks. And so those will mesh in nicely and it'll be nice and strong along that retaining area. So by the time I take out that plywood, that will be a nice square finish all the way along there. And the next step will be to do the concrete pad basically.